triangles JOE and SAM are drawn such that angle E is congruent to angle M and EJ is congruent to MS, which mapping would not always lead to triangle JOE congruent to triangle SAM. So let's draw the situation here. I have triangle JOE and I have triangle SAM. So angle E is congruent to angle M. Side EJ is congruent to side MS. So I have uh, one pair of sides, uh, corresponding sides are congruent and one pair of angles, corresponding angles being congruent. So let's recall what are the different ways that we can prove triangles congruent. We have SSS, SAS, ASA, AAS, and HL. These are the five different ways that we can prove triangles congruent. The last one there is unique to just right triangles. So for this question though, it's asking for what, um, what other information would not always lead to the two triangles being congruent. Well, this is the, this is the one thing that a lot of students get confused over, right? Uh, as far as the side to angle relationship proving triangles congruent, there's no such thing as SSA or ASS, right? A lot of students get a kick out of this. There's no such thing as ass. So if you have a angle side side relationship, that does not prove two triangles, two triangles congruent. So what would produce this side to angle relationship? Well, OJ and AS would have to be congruent, right? So if OJ is congruent to AS, then this would not lead, will not lead to triangle JOE congruent to triangle uh, SAM. Let's see if that's the case here. Let's see here. And that would be option four, JO mapping onto SA. Okay.